dun, 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 dun. Yeah, welcome back, my friend. This is BJJ Break Quick. My name is Byron. This is your quick jujitsu podcast. Today, and I think all week, we're going to be talking about why is Brazilian jujitsu so difficult for new people? <laughs> it is tough. You new people out there, I got a secret. It's tough for everybody. <laughs> but why is it particularly difficult if you're new? And anything you want to start off, whether it's, I don't know, table tennis or real tennis or <laughs> any other variation thereof, it's tough to start something. But why is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu so darn difficult to start? All right, first one. This will be the one of today. <laughs> I have another one for tomorrow, and we'll see what other things I crank up for the rest of the week here. So beginners, when it comes to sparring, many, many times, most of them are fighting and not rolling. And there's a big difference. When I'm rolling, when I'm... So, if you're brand new, uh, a lot of times classes will have some sort of a structured format. You might start with uh, stretching or maybe a technique or maybe a warm-up. But generally speaking, at the, towards the end of a jiu-jitsu class, we're doing some sparring or some drilling, some, some uh, situational sparring maybe, maybe just sparring, just, you know, go, <laughs> do jiu-jitsu. That's the most fun part of jiu-jitsu, I think, as far as the physical activity. But when I'm doing that, and what, what most people on the mat are doing, is we're, we call it rolling. We're rolling. That's not the same thing as fighting. And when you're new, it feels like fighting. You're... you're getting taken down, you're getting your guard passed, you're getting, you know, some pressure, you're getting a little smashed, you're getting submitted, you're trying to do a technique, it doesn't work. Whole lot of problems. <laughs> it's frustrating because you're losing. Even against other beginners. Half the time of a beginner loses. <laughs> and that's tough. The trick is, and it's it's a... It's a trick to help you learn jiu-jitsu better and also wash away a lot of the frustrations is we're not fighting. We're rolling. What's the difference? When I'm rolling, I'm testing out something. I'm learning something about you. Today, if I'm rolling, I'm... Let's see. <laughs> I have a guard pass I'm working on. I have a couple of chokes from top. I'm trying to fine-tune my back control. I have things I'm working on. Things I'm not... They're not my best things. I'm going to, for a little while, not do my best guard pass. I'm going to do something else. That's rolling. If I was fighting, I would give you my best guard pass. It'd be immediate... It would be the best I could do it. Whether it works or not, <laughs> I gave it a shot. I'm rhyming here. That's the difference. So when you're rolling, you're experimenting, you're trying. doesn't mean you're not trying hard. doesn't mean you're not giving it your all. But you're, you're okay with the experiment failing. The point of rolling is to get better at jujitsu. The point of fighting is to win the fight. They're too big. They're, 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 they're far apart as far as what the results are. But the, they look a lot alike. Man, they look a lot alike. They feel a lot alike. If you're learning with me and I'm tinkering around in some guard pass that you're not familiar with and you know my game, <laughs> you know I'm, I'm testing stuff out. I only have a couple guard passes. <laughs> if I'm not doing one of those, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much in the experiment mode. And good chance you'll sweep me. Maybe you'll catch me in a submission. 
That's okay. It's so frustrating to jiu-jitsu and think that you're fighting and try super hard and everything and not to realize that you should be just trying to learn a little bit each time you roll. I tell people who want to get good at triangles, just get to that position. Just get the set up. Set that thing up. Don't worry about choking somebody. Hold. How long can you hold someone in a triangle position? Is it 10 seconds? You're not going to submit anybody in 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> like they're gonna that's not long you need you can hold somebody in a triangle for several minutes you'll have lots of uh, opportunities to submit everybody in a triangle the choke will be there but don't rush the choke you're not trying to finish the fight see some escape attempts see how your your training partner deals with it get some practice in so Overall, <laughs> while you're sparring, remember that you're rolling and you're trying to improve at jiu-jitsu. You're not trying to win a fight. If you're new at jiu-jitsu, boy, howdy, have I got the audiobook for you. It's called Your First Year of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It's by me. It's about two and a half hours long. You go to bjjbrick.com, click on the shop, it pops right up. The money goes to support the podcast. And the website, all these hosting fees. <laughs> Hope you have a great day, my friend, and stay sweaty. <laughs>